In Objective 10 problems, you'll notice that what you do get is an IV that is infusing, whether it be by drop per minute or milliliter per hour. Your questions will include an IV that's flowing and ask you, in essence, to work backwards from where you were calculating a flow rate. For example, if we take this information from this question and figure out what we would flow this IV at to get this order, we would not be answering the correct question. The question reads, a nurse reports 6 micrograms per kilogram per minute for an 80 kilogram patient from 400 milligrams and 250 milliliters. If this is infusing through 15 drop per milliliter tubing at 5 drops per minute, was the nurse correct? So really, when we set the toolbox up, I've put quotations around what the nurse reported to indicate that we don't know if this is correct or not. This is what the nurse is telling us the patient's getting, but we don't really know. Um, we've got the other information, the weight, the IV bag, the tubing, and the flow rate. And though the question, is this correct, yes or no, it's a 50-50 shot, but you have to validate your answer in order to get credit. So what we're really asking in this question is, how many micrograms per kilogram per minute is this patient receiving? Because this is flowing, this is an indication that someone, when setting up and establishing this flow rate, multiplied to do so. They took the order, they multiplied in the weight, they multiplied in the time. So if we're verifying this, we are backing out of that information because it's flowing. And this is kind of a, a hidden clue to let you know that your math that you're going to use is going to be division. So there are a few things we need to confirm before we can actually figure this out, but we do want to go ahead and circle this because we do not want to use it. So I'm going to work backwards by beginning with the 400 milligrams in the 250 milliliters that I have. The problem already that I run into is that I need a milliliter an hour flow rate in order to finish figuring out how much drug per hour this patient's receiving in bulk. So to do that, I have to take my flow rate and my tubing and put those together to figure out my milliliter an hour flow rate. So when I do that, my five drops multiplied by my magic number, which is how many times my tubing rate will go into 60, and that is four. And so that means that this patient is receiving 20 milliliters per hour. So if I know 20 milliliters per hour are coming out of this bag, I can figure out how many milligrams per hour this patient's receiving. Again, in ratio and proportion, as long as your labels match, this will work. I have 250x. So x equals 30 Two. Before I go any further, I'm going to bring this label down to make sure that I know exactly where I am and so that I don't make any mistakes in my labeling. So 32 was X, and that means X was milligrams per hour. According to this, I need micrograms per kilogram per minute. So to get my milligram per hour to look like my answer needs to, in order to say, was it 6 micrograms per kilogram per minute, I need to divide the things out that were multiplied in. That means hours needs to go to minutes. I need to consider my kilogram weight and I need milligrams to change to micrograms in order to be able to do that. Any order you do is fine. Your answer will be the same in order to figure out what is my milligram per minute rate. So this is 0 0.5 bunch of three. So I'm going to just put carry this three decimal places because I know this will be converted. So at 0 0.53 three milligrams. Nothing's changed there, but now instead of hours, it's minutes. But I need to know per kilogram, so I'm going to divide this by the 80 kilogram rate, and this equals 0 0.0066. It's still milligrams, but now it's per kilogram and per minute. And so my last thing that I will have to do to 
convert is to move my milligram to my microgram. When I do that by going over one, two, three decimal places, that leaves me with 6.6 .6 micrograms per kilogram per minute, which is going to round to seven. So in truth, my answer was no, the patient's receiving seven micrograms per kilogram per minute. So with a brief review, Comparing to the Objective 9 problem worked earlier, you can see that to calculate the dose, this was multiplied first by the kilograms, multiplied by the minutes, and then converted to milligrams in order to figure out how much volume to take out of the IV bag to deliver the drug that was ordered. So if I am establishing flow in Objective 9, and I do that by multiplying, this helps me figure out that when I have an Objective 10 problem that is infusing that I need to divide in order to back out of that and figure out exactly how much drug the patient was receiving specific to the question.